two high PS dudes mm-hmm. that he can move around. He's going to have Boba and Fen. We'll have those lists up for you shortly. Uh, whereas Tim has Mean Girls. So Thomas will have a PS advantage. Okay. Uh, but uh, on the other hand, the Mean Girls are tanks. They're very tanky. Mm-hmm. Uh, mean Girls, of course, is Tim's list. Uh, it is Asajj and Ketsu uh, decked out in his very own way. Mm-hmm. Now, as it happens, Tim has put fearlessness on Ketsu. Yes. Uh, and the reason he made that change long ago, he used to have VI, is because of Fen. Right. So That range one, getting that extra hit in there. Exactly. Ketsu loves to be in primary arc anyways. Uh, this is a very, very interesting list. People people who have maybe not have seen Mean Girls operate don't realize. They, they think that, oh, two mobile arcs, this and that. It's it's not. It's a, it's a, it's an anvil and a hammer. Yep. And um, it takes a ton of skill to try to fly double shadow casters. It's not easy. No. Uh, especially when you're flying them in the OG way. Uh, Tim, no slouch when it comes to two big base ships. One of the pioneers of it in the Toronto scene. Before this, he was one of the greater ghost players in the city, flying double ghosts uh, to much success as well during the um, dark days of the Jumpmaster. Mm-hmm. Now, this list, Mean Girls, mm-hmm. uh, Tim's list is like polished, polished yeah. iron. No, wait, you don't polish iron. You polish silver. You, you can polish iron. iron. You had, to, you had tired, to polish folks. it back in the day, I'm sure, when they had no other options for their weapon. Um, right? Like, he's been working on this for so long. This is his baby. Yeah, I think he's this, sitting on almost 40 reps on this list This now, thing too. is a machine. These guys are 5-0. and oh. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's going to be rough for Tim. He's out ps and Boba has all the toys that we yes. will see shortly. It's just Boba and Fen. That's yes. it. Scum Boba, scum Fen. Yep. Not, that, not that rebel. That no. scum Fen. And that that scum, scum Fen. Boba. That real scum Fen. Um, and Which, Bo- I got to ask you, I can't wait to see this list, because this Boba Fen must be like 800 points. Because yeah. how is... Like, what is? I cannot wait to see what is on this bow. I'm going to assume engine. I'm going to assume some other fun tricks. Well, but we'll it's see how the list to be comes contended up. with. He uh, Thomas just flew against Alan. Yes, and, Alan the hair. And he Monsieur beat Fung. him without losing either of his guys. So and I do wiped believe out Alan's trip aces list. He he was actually used as one health boba to eke out a victory. That's what all that screaming was on stream earlier yeah. on. Now there were some, as I understand it, really improbable, uh, improbably bad evade dice on Alan's part, but. You know, uh, it survived that long. What's their record? Yeah. Uh, five, uh, four and zero. Four and zero. Four and zero. Both yep. these players are four. They and haven't zero. lost. However many rounds in we are, they haven't lost. We normally like to feature bubble matches too, but in this one, this was just too good of a matchup to pass up. Well, it's a regionals pair. rematch, and it's Boba Fett. It's it's arc based ships. Two on two. Yeah, I mean, I understand that uh, Asajj is going to have a mobile arc, but it doesn't matter. They're they're both lists a la carte. Okay, yeah. yeah. Catches on the left. Right. They yeah. they they're both made by by their pla- their uh, players, yeah. To specific tastes, to specific flying skill yeah. sets. So let's talk about Mean Girls. Okay. We got Ketsu Onyo, big bad Ketsu Onyo. She's got fearlessness, as previously mentioned, instead of Vi. And the reason for this is Tim finds that Ketsu can hit like a truck, right? Uh, with fearlessness on her, especially considering that her pilot ability is is not is not bump dependent. It's just in range dependent. So yep. if she gets you in range one with a bump, she loves you because yep. she gets a tractor beam you off of her, and then hit you for four dice plus one from fearlessness. With Dengar for rerolls. Yes. With two rounds of glitter stim. And you've already lost Shadowcaster title. Yeah. So if it gets around to uh, Asajj shooting at the same target, you've dropped two evade dice yes. at that point. Ketsu is the anvil, and Asajj is his hammer. Yes. I think that's how that works. Right? Works. Yeah, I don't know. Anyway. I mean, they're both kind of hammery yeah. the, the and anvil Two big, heavy things, yeah. and they're hitting you from either side. Yeah, they're both mean. Yeah. And then we have Asajj. Yeah. Uh, and Asajj has got PTL, Latsrazi, uh, Black Market Slicer Tools... Uh, burnout slam and gy- gyroscopic targeting. So and the reason why it's him push Tim loves lats the, yeah. are pretty standard. Yeah. But the other three things are all Timbo slice. Uh, we got gyro targeting. Tim just likes it. He just really likes it. Hopefully we'll see why he really likes it. And then he's got burnout slam, which is just clutch in so many games he's had. Uh, that burnout slam allows him to put. Uh, Asajj into all sorts of tricky positions. Mm-hmm. It's just incredible. And finally, we have Black Market Slicer tools. Hey. 
which is where uh, the slice in his nickname comes from. As we saw last week in Michigan, where he was able to get himself into break his stream curse, as he calls it, by like slicing a Kylo Ren to death. Yep. So the slicer can get those hard to hit targets on one health. Uh, it's nuts how many times really tough games have been settled by that. All right, we got Thomas Ferreira. Why don't you take us to his? This is amazing. All right, so Thomas is running uh, Fenral with not as typical Fenral because he's running a push Fenral, which is typical. But then he's added in plasma torpedoes to, I guess, to cover his range two to three approach with a target lock focus. And I'm guess assuming because he just had points left over, so yeah, he might probably. as well have used them. That, so that makes sense. That's interesting. Now, normally you guys, people see, put five points into him, give him advanced protons, which he's already rolling five dice naturally out of his primary arc at range one. That extra die doesn't seem worth the five points. No, but right. the four the the four dice the four dice strip shields at range three, however, does make a lot of sense to me when you look at what's on Boba. And now, push, start, and now it's starting to fall into place here. He's running a lone wolf. Dengar for offensive rerolls. Glitters him for that turn when he's got to turn on the heat. The engine obviously is a must use on, on the on the um, slave one, and draws stuff so that gets him access to the bomblet generator, cruise missiles, and ion cannon. So what that means, I'm assuming, is we're gonna see. Fen throwing, uh, uh, Fen throwing plasma traps to split, strip some shields, and then the ion cannon coming into play, setting up range one Fen shots. Is what I think is what his mo might be. Amazing. Well, this is going to be Titanic. It's a fifty-nine point Boba Fett. And if it goes down, it's going to be four and zero, folks. Like That's amazing. Titanic. That yep. is amazing. Yep. So you were saying also you spoke to Tim about what his uh, strategy going into this game was. Did he have one? Did he share something insights with you? Want to guess? Uh, kill Fen? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> bump yeah. him in the face. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Send him to the bottom of the ocean. So he's got to get that bump. He's got to get that shot on her. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, here we are set up. What can we say about the setup? We've got the shorter uh, Shadowcaster is Asajj. Uh, her mobile arc is determined by the gun that sits on top of the model. Which is difficult to read on stream. Yeah, unfortunately. It's clear as day when you're playing him. It's pointing forward right now, it looks yep. like. And then we got Ketsu, and she's got the ring around her base and the epic stand. That makes sense. The same. I actually was using that same setup today, too. Not this list, though. Yeah. Well, well we're, we're happy that Phil's happy. We're trying to hit all, hit all the hits, all the fan faves. We've got a K-turn, so... Tim is already setting up the, you thought I was going to go that way, I'm going this way. Routine. <clears throat> Thanks, Masta. We're going to pull those off. Oh, sorry, actually. Put that. And Boba does a careful move. He's seeing where Tim will commit. Now, how crucial do you think that lone wolf is to any opening engagement for Fett? Is he going to break Fen off? I guess we'll see in a moment. I actually do think it's absolutely it makes a lot of sense to me right now because of the fact that um, Fenrir kind of loves to be at range one anyways, and with that ion cannon, and it's going to be a little bit easier to activate the lone wolf. Having just come off my O3 run with my uh, Dengar's Flight School, mm -hmm. I have I found it a lot harder to keep the lone wolf active with the two big base ships and mm -hmm. trying to weave around rocks and all that other damage. But the mm -hmm. fact that he's got the fire spray with the engine upgrade, if you've flown it a little bit, it, it actually feels a little bit more like a precise instrument. And yep. It's not a turret ship. It it's the hard three boost or the or the one bank boost in the range one or mm -hmm. bringing around your rear arc to bear with the boost. So mm -hmm. uh, I, it, it's almost as if he's flying two arc. Well, not two. He is flying two arc ships, but I mean. Well, this is like a kung fu movie, yeah. right? In which both of the, the the kung fu masters show up with their very own moves, mm -hmm. right? It's all like eye of the sinking dragon. You know. These are basically the 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 off schools of yep. the, not not the traditionals. There's no wushu and and any of that no. kind of stuff here. This is just pure. This is drunken boxing versus. Uh, I wouldn't say that. I'm gonna insult somebody. And I already take that back. <laughs> please don't me. No, please don't hurt me. All right. No one. No one's gonna hurt you, Smee. So, are you thinking you want to go through any of those rocks? I'm guessing this 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 setup has been um, like as a when you're with a shadow cast, you kind of almost always want to just pick arcs and, and dance around them. Oh, it's interesting. We missed it. Uh, we might have ignored that last round. Uh, he K turned his Ketsu. No, we saw it. We saw, we saw it. it. Okay, good. Oh, I saw it. Okay. Um, so I think what Thomas is doing here is he's going. I'm gonna attack one of you, mm -hmm. but you don't know which one. Um, Boba can four straight. He can three bank. Yes. 
So whichever one of those shadow casters comes into range has to be worried. And because his fen is in stress, he could hard one upboard, barrel roll out and boot, and then he's you know he's setting up that lone roll range bend, and he's still going to be able to shoot. Probably, shoot his probably just go for the plast orbs in the first round. That's my guess. You think he wants to pull Ketsu off the board as soon as possible and then deal with Asajj? So she's by herself. I think he's going to go for whoever presents themselves. Just take the first target of opportunity I mean, that you get. He may well program a, the bank three here, or he might do a bank one and just set up for the next round. But if he does a bank one. He's telling us where he's going to go. Will a one straight leave him with enough room for three banks? I don't think so. But on, it, has, it has three bank, uh, three turns. Right? Are you talking on the Shadowcaster? No, the uh, the old one. Oh, the yeah, old, the Slave one. Yeah, slave one does yeah. have the three turns. So this is the Andrasta. Yeah. Well, it's always going to be a Slave one to me. Okay. I didn't even realize it was called a Fire Spray until, fire spray until I started playing this game. It was always just a Slave one. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Phil GC says, not why, sure why you take crews over harpoons. I don't know either. Style, maybe? The thrill of getting the uh, five dice shot off? Maybe. I mean, it's pretty good on an opening joust, if you can guess it. And, the, and as the TDV Live chat just chimed in, it's one less point. Yeah, yeah. But uh, Thomas has three points to blow up there, doesn't he? No, he's got four. He's got four points to spare in his list. Interesting. So he's, well, he's he still sitting on a four-point bid? Exactly. So he can't even spend all the points. 96. Interesting. That, why doesn't he just take advanced uh, homing, home, homing missiles? Yeah, homing missiles. Because no. there's nothing out there that really has evades anymore, really, except besides Kylo. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe we should ask him after what he thinks and why he went with that. That's actually... Oh, there it is. PT-106. I, I, I agreed. No risk of splashing Fen. And um, I don't know, I end up doing more damage with my harpoons to my own ships than I do to my opponents, so that makes a lot of sense. Because Fen can't afford to take, take splash damage. Yep, you're right. He's already so fragile as it is, he's going to have to do whatever he can to keep him alive. That must, that's probably it's where it is. It's ridiculous to refer to Fen as fragile, but I guess that's where this game is at. I mean, proton bombs and harpo six harpoons on a list, it's, it's, it is very, it's dangerous out there. It's, uh, it's, just, it's also a testament to skill for him to be able to be with the record he has in the field that, that's set up right now with, with, oh, yeah. with all intents and purposes, a ship, a, a list that you would think on paper wouldn't be good in the current meta. But this is why I'm really excited to see this match and see how he's able to use it to his advantage. So, Ketsu has no boost. No. Um, which means this is going to be tricky for her. <laughs> So it looks like Tim is calling the initial engagement right around the finger and the double, double whatever those things are. He's looking to get Ketsu up in there with a five straight maybe and, and try to pick off that Fen. And uh, Thomas looks like he's going to try to come in and flank with his Boba. Mm -hmm. Maybe an engine upgrade boost here? I don't know. be a great chance to get an Ion token in there first. Well, both the girls have their uh, arcs pointed forward. Mm -hmm. So Boba may be thinking that he can get around to the side and deny them some action economy. That makes sense. And you gotta you gotta figure that um, Ketsu definitely kind of treats it more like an arc. She almost never really wants to change her arc to the right unless she can get that amazing forward and secondary arc on that corner. Uh, she definitely flies a lot more like a locked arc ship because you yeah. really want to be able to use that ability. It's it's debilitating at times. Um, yeah. So. Okay, he's doing the boost. He's going to throw down with Ketsu at range three. Phil uh, GC saying that would have been a good moment to 4-4 four, four cruise. It would have been, but uh, he didn't seem that certain. Mm. That's gonna be he's going to check for plasma torps. Yeah, so do you think he's going to boost target lock? I don't think he risks it. No. Because the last thing you want to do is leave them without any sort of token. Because that's when you—that's the time you blank out and take four damage. Yep. So Fen sets up to prey on whatever tries to flank. MDL, Boba. sorry for cutting you off. There's the 0144 makes a valid valid point. We were coming to about point missiles earlier. The only things relevant in the game right now, currently, that really need them are the shadow casters and the Inquisitor, who's nice. Who's seeing a nice resurgent lately. Yep. Sorry, I was cutting you off. I think I said whatever it was my mouth was saying. Okay. <laughs> Checking range with Fen, no shot. Checking range with Boba. Quite clearly in range. It's gonna ion cannon him? Probably. Or it's just primary. Uh, 
and got reroll. It's the dice, baby. And that's an ion can. That's an ion damage. Well, it could be primaries too. That's we true. Don't, we don't know. So Getsu takes one of whatever yeah. flavor. We'll see an ion token if that's what it was. It might, as you said, it might have just been primaries. Oh, it must have been for the range. Yeah. Nope. Ketsu does not have arc. Interesting. So, what is Thomas doing here? Is he trying to force uh, Ketsu to hard two into him? Hmm. Then Ketsu is no longer a threat to f defend. Good luck that would be very interesting because then Fen can do a one a casual one bank pull target lock push for focus and just blast Ketsu with a plasma torp. Mm -hmm. Bulba could theoretically go four forward and shoot past her and have a rear arc. Maybe I don't know. Yep. I'm not That'd as familiar with the fire spray dial. It's been a while since I've flown one. They are amazing. It's pretty much an X wing dial if I recall correctly. Might yeah. have two banks that are green. Okay. Oh, actually, yeah, that's a good point. You know, the ghost does have an evade, the home, but I mean, it's going to eat so much damage anyways with the with the no agility. But sensor jammer. Well, if you compare uh, homing missiles and uh, harpoon missiles, if the harpoon condition triggers, it's then, infinitely better. Then uh, you've done as much damage to that target as you would have by canceling an evade with the homing miss with the homing missile attack. Right. Plus, I do believe no homing missiles. The and only other missile you don't have to spend a target lock for, right? You can nope. keep a target lock on it. Yeah, cruise. Ion pulse. Uh, there's one other, but I can't remember. Right but now. neither of those do four damage. Ion Pulse doesn't. Cruise can, but it's a right. lot more work to set up. Yeah. Especially on a big base ship because you go so much faster. But then again, I would imagine it'd be you could catch people sleeping on the Alpha Strike, on the Joust, if they don't think about it. Yep. You could get your cruise missile off of five dice in the first round of combat, the first round of the game, if your opponent doesn't see it coming. So maybe that's why he has no, it in there for a bit of variety. Long range scanners and boost. Oh, you can't have long range scanners and boost. Okay. People are thinking this is the all-important round. Yeah, so this is the question for Tim. Does he do the hard three with Ketsu? Or what does he go for? Wow. So you're going to probably see a boost from Ventress? Ventress does not have engine. Oh, she does not have it. It's Ketsu who has the engine. Correct. Oh, okay. All right. So he's going to do a focus. And does he push? So I think Tim is daring Fen to turn in. Yeah. Um, and I don't think... Uh, Thomas is going to. I think he's going to do a straight into the space that Bobo will move out of in a moment. But that's the target lock for yeah. Asajj. He's going to push for the focus, I would imagine. Yep. Yep. Okay, that makes sense. So does Ketsu go four forward boast? Most no, he went that way. So that's a gamble for Tim. Yeah. Which is ultimately what he has to do here in this matchup where he's out PS'd. He must gamble. I do think he blocks the 4 forward, though. And he blocks a 1 forward. I think he actually blocks Boba perfectly there. Unless Boba does a hard 2 to ship right and then boosts to bring rear arc over that rock. And there's fearlessness, folks. Mm -hmm. When attacking, if you're inside the uh, defender's firing at range, range one and the defender's inside your firing arc, you may add one hit to the result. So now Tim's just uh, deliberating on what he wants to do for actions. Or action, because he only has a single action with Ketsu. Mm -hmm. Obviously, he's got all the drugs. Yep. Oh, he's only got two sets of drugs, actually. There it is. Which I think actually makes sense. He's still going to be able to use... He's got the... That's a good call. Yeah, that's a really good call. He can glitter. This is turning out to be a very good move for Tim. Yeah. So maybe the initial boost uh, by Bulba from Thomas might not have been the best call because that left him with no other option but to block. But, I mean, it was, it was, up, to, it was up to Tim to make that call and do that hard two there. I mean, it's early days yet, so mm -hmm. we it should is. not get too carried away. Wow, another cautious thing from Thomas. I mean, it did give him the option, depending on which direction Tim's Ketsu went. If she would have gone four forward boosted in that space, he would have had the range one. 
could have barrel rolled out of arc if he wanted to with that maneuver. I think I think Thomas was setting himself up for the most options and abilities. From That's what he true. Has. I mean, it's 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 a ongoing debate in my mind whether or not surprising moves mm -hmm. uh, are better than, and I don't mean just surprising in any old way, I mean surprising good moves are better than the cautious ones. Any right. round to round, like the ones that leave your options open. I mean, with any opponent, you've got to be sitting there, can I read, and thinking, can I read this person? Yeah. Am I, do I know what they're going to do? Yeah. And with some people, you get to a point, even after a couple of turns, where you're like, oh, I know what he's going to do. You can see their style, as it were, and their objectives are clear. Yeah, this is some fine top-notch Tim, Tim Bow Slice piloting. Tim's, Tim's just an amazing pilot. I think we see a push for the target lock here for the plasma torpedo. Uh, I guess that's what it was. It's a red. Oh, no, he barrel rolled. Yeah, you're right. He so barrel rolled. Where's the red lock? Oh, it's the It's the yeah. uh, The red lock is Tet Ketsu's. No, it's oh, no, it's Asajj's. You're right. Yeah, yeah you're 100% right. Uh, uh, Ketsu don't bother because she's got Dengar. Yep. And... So he will be able to use uh, Ketsu's ability on Boba Fett if he wants to. Um, Good point. And it's going to be able to we reduce think. the range bonus that he would receive by shooting at Boba with uh, Ventress. Tim's I, popping glitter stim. So not surprised by that Technically, one we should put it this way. It reduces her defense yeah. rather than the bonus. Correct. You're right. Sorry. Yeah. So there we go. Glitter stim popped. Yeah. And they just measured the mobile arc. Uh, Fen's shooting first is PS9. Yeah. But he, oh, yeah, he yeah. measured the mobile arc while he did it. And he blanks out. So, the cats who don't care, mm -mm. that's fine. She's like, happily. Mm hmm. Now, the question is oh, okay. Bubba's gone. Never mind, shot. that answers so my we question. Go, Ketsu. He's shooting at Fen. Yeah, of course. And then he's in the glitter stream for three hits because yep. if he can yep. get that damage in. And Fen dodges. Yeah. And I think it's Saj was out of range, right? Yeah, I think Sam was hoping to get be able to proc his uh, title, strip her, strip um, focus by one, sorry, evade dice by one, and then barrel roll him back into Ventress's range with that yep. title. Well, if he hadn't barrel rolled, it would have been a great shot. Yeah. He would have actually, instead of that, he would have pulled Fen forward so that Fen had to crash to that rock next round. That's true. Both are good options. And again, it still would have given Ventress a, a shot at Fen. Mm hmm. Uh, Ventress apparently has a shot at Fen. Yeah, that range three. Oh, no, she shot at Boba. Pardon yeah, me, pardon exactly. me. exactly. So two on Boba. Boba gets a bunch of re-rolls, but he's got no tokens. He'll get one re-roll. Yeah, and then Lone right. Wolf as well. No, oh, yeah, this must be Lone Wolf. To nothing. So two damage. Would he not be able to re-roll one of his focus results with Boba's ability? Fen. Is Fen's right there. Oh, sorry, that was Boba's re-roll, yeah. not Lone Wolf. Okay, that makes sense. So, uh, we got the possibility of bomblets being dropped here. Oh, yeah, very much so. Uh, we got the possibility of a K turn so Bubba can come back in. And Fire's plays K turn at three and four. And Bubba has Glitter Stim that he did not pop there, so I guess he saves that for a more dire moment. And Tim. <laughs> As R5-D4 has reminded us, gyroscopic targeting. Mm -hmm. uh, and Tim hasn't forgot. Which is a decision he has to make now. about it. They believe he's going to keep it forward because I would almost assume that his Ventress is going to do the three bank. Well, she does. She well, the one bank. Up, doesn't want to end up with... On the rock? With the uh, fen in her face. Yeah. So she wants to clear stress, so she has to do either a straight or a three bank or a three turn. That is true. And I think the three bank might clip that rock. 100%. So he's so she's she's rotating the arc. Ah, so she's going to avoid the whole situation by... Flying over the rock and popping glitter stim. That's what he's going to do, my guess. Yep. I mean, I, I don't presume to assume to be in Tim's head. He's a better, way better player than I am, but I've flown a little bit, I think, in this situation. 
the four straight get you deep, deep in behind the lines there. Mm -hmm. Pop Glitterstim game, maybe get a range one shot out of arc on Fen. I mm -hmm. don't know. We'll see what happens. Because if Boba tries to bop, drop a, a bomblet, mm -hmm. Fen's going to have to go hard to, to get out of the bombless range and yes. clear his stress. Or the two bank. But Boba will make that decision when he sees where Ketsu is gone. Which is the real pickle right now for Tim. Where does Ketsu go? Obviously, the self-stalling bump yeah. is a decent idea, but it's also the obvious choice. Does the three bank clear, in your opinion? Yeah, I think so. So maybe you three blank, or do you one forward keep the stress, and then if, he, if Thomas calls that, he can go. This is where you get mind games on top of mind games on top of mind games now. Yeah. No, I can't remember if the one straight is a green maneuver. Not on the Shadowcaster, it's not. Okay. The two forward is, which would... Actually, the two forward would bump clear stress and yep. allow him to stay there. And he wouldn't have to worry about sitting on the rock. Yep. But then if Thomas thinks about that and goes four forward to clear, he's got a range one shot with Boba Fett out the rear. Yes, it does. And he can still drop a bomb before he does that, yes. which won't hit him, so he probably won't do that. That's yeah, the one like benefit of having the higher PS with the bomb on you. Oh, yeah, absolutely. And if he's planning to get Fen out of there anyway. I mean, yeah. You'll see the state of the board. So uh, this is still really rough for Tim on account of that PS advantage. Um, I'm a little bit worried that Tim is being forced to spend his consumables. So Tim oh, so hits the rock on purpose. Okay. So if we do have a hard two from Fen, we will see if that will fit. Don't see what that was. Focus, so he's fine. Tim, being a veteran yeah. caster, shows us what the result is. Thanks, also Tim. a veteran of being on the stream, unfortunately. He's like his 10th or 11th game on the stream. Mm -hmm. He's no stranger to the hot yes, seats and the hot lights. We did have two straight from Ketsu. Clear stress and bumps. So this is Tim's kind of setup. I think Tim was really hoping that Boba wouldn't go fast. And if he can set up this, this is going to be uh, a pile of pain. Oh, yeah. If Boba is not exiting that space, yeah. uh, Fen is... Well, Boba okay. is exiting that space, yeah, but I yeah. think Tim is happy to eat the range one from Boba if he can put that hurt on Fen. He's got one more glitter stem to pop. Yep. Nope. Oh, just slowly just taking apart Thomas' list. <laughs> just disassemble the ship. <laughs> uh, yeah, Dino, Dino might. Uh, Ketsu did a two forward green clear her stress to bump and stay in place. Again, uh, Ketsu is the taller shadow caster with the plastic mobile arc indicator on the bottom. Yep. And that looks like a bump. And so what Tim has actually just done is he set up his dream setup for, yep. um, for. I mean, it's to not quite the dream, but it, it's it's pretty pretty darn good. Well, he'll be able. Ketsu's ability is range one to two, or range one. Uh, Ketsu's range one, but you've got to be inside both arcs, so she's not going to get the pilot ability. Okay. However, she will get the shadow caster title if she can do damage, she, and then and she can pull Fen onto a rock, and then Ventress can shoot at him with only three of eight dice. It'll be four dice from Ketsu versus what might be five dice. If he is in range one, that would definitely be able to yeah. uh, that will trigger Fen's ability. Yeah, yep. that makes sense. It was glittering. And it'll be a great position for Ketsu afterwards. Yeah. Her arc's point in the right direction to chase after Fen. Yep. Here's so Boba. the Boba shot. Nice. Yep. He focused, so he'll spend that for four, having not taken any attacks back. So... Ketsu is going to take three. three. Her shields are gone. Yeah. <coughs> oh. Oh, and he got a ooh, he got a crit, which was structural damage. That hurts. That definitely hurts. The only thing worse than two of eight die is one of eight die. <laughs> Honestly, I feel one of eight dies more honest. <laughs> it's not going to lie to you. It is what it is. It's, you know, it's a garbage chance, and you, you might get lucky, but you probably won't. Yeah. Whereas. With two, you're always like, well, I, I could totally evade this, and then yeah. you don't. They're checking for primary and obstruction? Okay. No. It looks obstructed, but we'll see what the judge says. Mm hmm. And we're on pause till then. So we've got four damage into Ketsu. We have 
Don't we have some damage on Boba? Uh, no, there was nothing that really came out of that last one that I know of. I don't remember. I thought she. I thought Boba took two. We should have, maybe we should ask. We'll, we'll, we'll double check to update the damage. Now that's an interesting format. That's an interesting way of checking for range with a bendable device. He should really go up there and make it proper. Thank you. Boba has lost two shields. Okay. Cool. And we've uh, sent in a judge to use a straight, hard plastic range ruler as opposed to that measuring tape, which is a less than ideal device for measuring arc. So we've got material in there, and that's a much better call. Oh, that's a tough one. I don't know if I'd want to be in that situation right now. Well, the thing is, as a judge, you just make a call. Yeah, that's, the, that's what you got to do. You just got to make that call, right? Finger's clear. What's it? What's the ruling on? Were you able to hear what they said? Or? So we have four hits coming from Ketsu. Ooh, that's what he wants to see. Yep. And Thomas is doing something with his dice. He's got four. I mean, the odds of him dodging this are incredibly slim. Especially without tokens. Uh, oh. He literally just almost dodged it all. Brutal. Which is mean he's going to be able to proc Shadowcaster title. And he's going to be able to pull Fen off onto a rock, giving him a range one shot onto his Fen from his Ventress. Surprised he didn't uh, glitter him with the Sash. I think he didn't want to waste it on the slim chance that he didn't get the hit. Yeah. So FYI, based on the fact that he only rolled four of A dice on Thomas, that means the judge ruled that as an yeah. unobstructed shot. Which is what it looked like to me, but, you know, I ain't there. I ain't at the table. Yeah. It's, it's a little, sometimes you can see a little bit differently when you're up above the top now, board. Now, Finn's still got Fen going on here. Yeah. And he, he gets out of that okay. Well, that's incredible. Yeah. That, all by itself, could have killed him. Yeah. Uh, and also, it's important to note that Tim managed to put him in a situation where he's actually going to go over that rock next turn. It was amazing flying by Tim. That was um, a hell of a route to see that move and set that up. Yeah. That was, uh, yeah, exactly. That was, that was a beautiful setup. That's thinking more than one turn ahead. Unfortunately, I still haven't figured that out in this game yet. Hello back, Lord of Britannia. Yeah, it, that's, that's a bit of an aspirational... Uh... Uh, Twitch tag, Lord of Britannia, the whole thing. Reminds me of Ultima, if you've ever played that board, uh, the uh, computer no. game. Let's see, I'm, I'm showing how insufficiently nerd I am. <laughs> so here goes Ventress. Uh, yeah, like... There you go. Oh, he had the lock from before. That's yes. why he didn't bother. So we got four going That's why in. he didn't glitter stem. So looks like no obstruction here. And we've got one evade and... Takes, yeah, so he's going to take two damage. He gets the auto evade from the title, which was a crit, major hull breach, I think. I think it's damage sensor array. Damage sensor array, that's pretty awful too. Oh, well, it's damage, damage sensor array. There we go. No, 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 it's nope. damage array. It yeah. is damage sensor array. Yeah. Who needs actions? Not Fen Rao. Mm -hmm. And he's gotta go over that rock again. Yeah. So big question here, do Katsu and Asajj just go, that guy's had it? and fly I, off into the sunset? I don't know if you can afford to let him escape. No, I, I agree. I was just... Uh, yeah. The problem messing. is the problem is now is how does he not bump... You know, again, he's quite good. No, so I know, I know, I know. He's going to do a maneuver. He's got gyroscope targeting. He's going to self... He's going to block his Ketsu and stay where she is. Is that what you're thinking? Oh, I wasn't thinking of that. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, I don't think there's any way for him to block... Uh, Ketsu without Ketsu ending up on a rock while well, she could three three turn. Nah, he's got burnout slam. 
Oh, he's going to burn out Slam Ventress out of the way and make space for uh, Ketsu's heart three. Her arc is pointing in the right direction. I like it. I like where your head's at. I like it's where all stuff at. I've seen from Tim before. He's played this list once or twice. Hmm? He's played this list once or twice. Oh, yeah. His own. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. So you're thinking three bank, hard three burnout towards the bottom of the board to chase after Boba, or are we seeing... I'm thinking three turn mm -hmm. from... I mean, he might just... Three turn, three turn? Yeah. I mean, he could three turn both his girls here, and that would be fine. Uh, but if he, he uses burnout, then he gets Asajj back around. Remember, she does not have boost. Mm -hmm. So she's the, the slowest ship of the, the three big ships. Yeah. Which, uh, have you ever said that before? Asajj is the slowest ship? Of the ships that are out there? Yeah. <laughs> what world are we in? Well, she's faster than Fen with no actions. Now. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. And that's the other thing. Do you want like, Fen with no actions in one hull? I mean, you're hoping that the 50-50 chance that the rock gets him for you, but, man, yeah. you really don't want to give him up not being able to shoot. Yeah, so 50-50 chances are the most random chances there are. That's like, if you have a series of 50-50 chances, yeah. you can get all sorts of really wild results. So you just don't assume anything with 50-50 chances. You can't. You can't assume. No. I mean, I've had games where people have flown over, like, flown, at, flown against me, and they've flown over three or four rocks, and, like, oh, man, did he just slide her forward? Yeah, he went Dude, one forward to bump him. Doing? Oh, he knew it wouldn't hit. Badass. So that was interesting. His arc is pointing in the right direction. So if Fen tries to two turn to the right, he's yep. toast. We did mention it. Thomas was the one who eliminated him. Yep. That's why we got the great gun match. Yeah, this is top two. As as we were as we we're repeating for the viewers in case you missed it, this is a repeat of last year's top two regional final, where Thomas Farah flew an amazing game against uh, Tim and, and was able to bring it out for to take the regional championship last year. Did you see that move? I Tim did. Tim just closed the two ships on him like Jaws. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not sure well, why he tried to fix the crit. He tried to fix the crit. Um, um, but that's the but that's not what the he jaws needs. Of life, though. No, the, the jaws of death. Yes. So the jaws of jaws. Jaws of jaws. Both both the shark and the guy from James Bond. <laughs> the metal jaws of jaws. And Bubba's got to disengage. Yeah. yeah, as we said, Tim is no slouch to this list. He's got experience with it. He's flown it enough. Um, so I'm assuming that means that um, that he he's dropping a bomblet. He's only going to hit his own guy. Uh, well, that that's that leads me to believe that uh, Fen is going to go four forward. But, okay. Uh, yeah, I think he's just doing it for fun. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. And taking the evade for, for kicks as well. He went five straight. Okay. So we're going to roll to see if Fen survives. <laughs> he throws it on the floor, as you do. Oh! oh! And pop goes the Fen row. Well. There we go. That's an advantage for Tim. Yes. Ship advantage against Boba. He is still, still going to have the PS disadvantage. Tetsu is still hurt. Yes, she is. She's hurting and pretty she's bad. she's out of consumables. Oh, oh, oh. I've got a Boba shot. She's also... Oh, no. uh, sorry. Uh, Saj yeah. has got a shot. Boba doesn't have side arcs. What a chump. Yeah. <laughs> He's just an honest-to-goodness front and rear arc only ship. Yeah. Rocking a bow tie like a yeah. gentleman. Woo. He don't care. Nope. No need to lone wolf. And also, uh, Asajj, uh, sorry, Ketsu's also sitting on a structural damage, so she's only a one of a die ship currently, so... Yep, I, I, and she's out of Glitter Stim. So I feel like Thomas really wants to try to get Boba back onto Ketsu as fast as possible, if if possible, to take advantage and not give Tim more opportunities to turn that crit down, because that's a terrible crit, crit to get yeah. on a two of a die ship. Yeah, I mean, I don't see any reason right now why Thomas wouldn't two-turn Boba back in. And then just, yeah, because he's got... Because Ventress is going to have to probably bump again. Oh, she can go five straight or three bank. But Tim's going to have to take a turn or two to re mm -hmm. to reset up. Shadowcasters uh, do have five straights, though. That's true. They were given five straights in whatever wave it was that came out, wave nine. Yeah. And were the first large ships with five straights. They are the only large ship with yeah. five straight currently. Which, which shows that, you know, the designers have just lost their minds. Well, we really want a ship to be able to burn out slam off the table on the first turn in case yes. they were stupid enough to try that. Five straight. Burn out slam, boost, five straight. And then... <laughs> Advanced slam, yeah, just, or that too. Is that? 5K, that's his trick. That's my Tim's trick. Yeah, oh, yeah. 5K burnout slam. Yes. Yeah. To stay where you were. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm feeling? I feel like something. I can't put it all the way 
Well, that was rough, but there's no by no means over. There's a 59 point fully loaded Boba Fett yep. on the table. I think if you're if you're Thomas, I don't think you you worry about ion cannon in this match. I feel like the ion cannon is for small bases or for ghosts. Well, I'm surprised with the earlier shot on. Uh, can't see that he didn't take an eye on Cannon. You lose nothing by doing it at range three. Right. Because chances are you're not going to get more than one damage on a ship with an evade token. Yeah. So you know, might as well tag it with an ion. Then later on you get another opportunity to tag it with another ion. Yeah, absolutely. Anyway. Corvinus one, the point was is that the thankfully currently the ghost cannot take Burnout Slam that I know of. The ghost? Yeah. yeah. I'm sure yeah, there'll yeah. be an upgrade yeah. that gives it a list. It's because it's not strong enough yet. Um... I, I, I detect some sarcasm. No, no, no. By all means, the Ghost is a very unique and interesting ship. That's how I described it yeah. all day yesterday when we saw it on stream three times. I, I heard you, and I, I heard the word unique with that particular intonation you were giving it. Uh, and I was biased. Perish the thought. Yes. I'm uh, nothing if not completely impartial and unbiased. <laughs> oh, I, I hate the damn Ghost. <laughs> I See, mean, at least I don't I mind some it. of the, the janky builds. I'm just tired of the TLT ghost. Like, yeah. So that's called Thread in the Needle. I like that. That was lovely. Yep. Sweet. Yeah. Ark's pointing the right direction. He's going to probably like he evade. Like flew it before. I think he might evade here. Nah, push. Target lock evade. Target lock, oh, target focus, focus, because okay. if he comes in with a hard two, he's going to get... Again, Tim's been playing the push, the version of Ventress Boba for a will long be able time. To get, get on Asajj, but yeah. that's... A full health assage. Yeah, I think I think that's the point. He likes to cycle them. Mm, I'm surprised by that move. Yeah, he it's gets down. it. She gets her second evade die back. Well, you saw it here, folks. Somebody actually managed to uh, Flip roll to a, remove a uh, removable crit. As we said, hard two. Mm -hmm. Now, do you boost into range one if you're Bulba? Well, you've got one action, right? Yeah. Uh, do you think he's within range of Ketsu? I think he's not. But if he boosts, he would be. Uh, I don't think he can make the straight boost. So maybe you be cheeky. You you check for a target lock on Ketsu? Yes. And then if you are in range, glitter stim? If you are in range, glitter stim. Because then you know you're eating two attacks. Shoot the ion cannon or something? Yeah, ion, ion Ketsu? Yeah. Nope, he's, he's... He's thinking. He's fingering a focus. There's a joke there, but... I'm, I'm not even looking for it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably a good idea. Oh, the, that's interesting. Um, oh, okay. I don't think that completes, buddy. Nope. He's allowed to look. <laughs> There's another joke there. <laughs> <laughs> that one told itself, I think. <laughs> uh, so Ventress will be able to check for her ability at the beginning of combat. Um, I think that's what that was. Oh, no, that might have been Glitter. Oh, if he just glittered, he's, he's going to be double stressed forever. Yeah. He forgot. Oh, that that's going to hurt him. Did he? Did Tim forget to? Oh no, the stress he applied was from Ventress's ability. Okay. All right. These guys aren't forgetting. They don't miss triggers. That's why they're so we got four and oh. Two hits on Asajj, and Tim just goes and rolls wanks. Yeah. Tim, don't don't throw away big advantageous situations with that dice. Jeez, man. <laughs> Just roll better. That's the answer. Yeah, roll better. My last game before I dropped, I um, I took eight damage on my jump master in two turns, with countermeasures and glitterstone. Wow. Yep. That's impressive. Never underestimate my ability to roll roll very poorly. Ouch. So he is he's del he's delib he's deliberating to take all the damage or spend Bulba stress. The, oh, I see. A stress. A, a, I I can see why he is. I take the damage. Take the damage and keep the stress? Yeah. I mean, Ketsu, it's only is, two hits. Ketsu is fully operational and again. And that's exactly what he's doing. He's deciding to keep the stress on there. Yeah. Because a stress, the shadow cat, the stress of fire spray is a little bit, it's going to limit his ability to do boost. I think that makes sense to me. That was, yeah, it was range two. Yeah, focus for two hits and a crit. Oh, yeah. Another blank out. Oh, but Lone Wolf is now in effect all the time. Yep. Doesn't help him, so he takes hit crit. Yep. So shields off Boba. So, geez, two hull from half points? Am I right about that? No, I'm... Uh, one hull. One, one hull from half points. And Ketsu is one hull from half points. Um, What's the green maneuvers on a uh, fire spray? It's actually the same as the next one. Yeah. Yep. So he's got his one forward, his two forwards, and his two bank? Not two banks. Not two banks. 
Shows you how many X Wings I've flown. Sorry, guys. Yeah. Scrub. I mean, I flew Z95. Don't, don't come up here talking about your jump masters if you haven't flown X Wings. Jeez. Listen, I was an Imperial player up until like four months ago. <laughs> then I decided I wanted a chance at winning without having to flick with Now you've brought up all our hurt feelings. I know, about I'm sorry. Where our Imperials are at. Bring back Carnor, please. Oh, God, I loved Carnor. I miss him. I miss Carnor like an ex-girlfriend. Really, I do. I go, I think I'll play Carnor today. No, no, I, I can't play Carnor. I can't. Sometimes I pick him up and I look at him. I just miss Whisper and Echo. Version. I just miss Whisper and, and Echo. And I put him back down again. And I go, that, I guess that's over. <laughs> <laughs> but you'll always remember the good times that you had together. I do, I do. <laughs> There's Carnor. Woot. <laughs> there he is. All right. So Almost became the new emperor. If you read the extended universe stuff. Let's. Who does that? Uh, one, two, three, four. Let's get uh, back to the game. Let's get back to the game. Let me ask you a question, Aaron. There is yep. a rock missing that we can't see. Is it underneath Sha- Aketsu's model? Yes, it is. It's Let's underneath gonna... her left nacelle or whatever they call it on that show. Oh, blasphemous! Star engines. Truck. It's on her yeah. engines. Yeah. So I'm thinking Ketz is going to do the two bank left to keep her arc pointing towards Boba. It's what does Ventress do? She wants to clear. She's got gyros. Uh, Good point. She three banks. Maybe this is the turn where she slams. Burnout slams. I think one straight. You think? No. Uh, that was incorrect. One bank might not be a bad choice. Yeah, you're right. It won't clear his stress, but he might not care. Uh, three bank, is that too far? Open boats, uh, open boats, advanced better. sensors, Kylo was what I was trying to fly. I was thinking of bringing it. I couldn't get the reps in to mentally condition myself to fly a ship that difficult right now. But I am going to go back to him uh, very soon. I'm actually just waiting on the Reaper. I'm, I'm really excited about that coming out. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah, I'm hopefully, hoping it's pretty good. We, uh, we've got a lot of rumors circulating. Okay, so we've, we've called out every move here that we can. We've got still a fully loaded Boba. Mm-hmm. We've got... Oh, you know what? Do you think this is a turn for him to force straight and five dice cruise missile uh, He's stressed. Ketsu? He's stressed. Ah, uh, it doesn't clear stress. Uh, so which is why I'm guessing Tim left the stress there. Oh, I think he gyroed his uh, 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 woohoo. Yeah. His woohoo backwards. Yeah, because he hard threed and doesn't clear his... He does clear stress on the two straight forward. Uh, he's going to focus. He's probably going to push because he'll hard three next turn anyways. Well, he's certainly not K-turning. Oh, he's going to try a slicer. Oh, don't do it, Tim. Don't do it. He always, he's, he's addicted. He's, he's addicted. It's he's a addicted. problem. Yep, there it is. Yep, there it is. No. That's what you get. I don't think there's ever a time when he has the option of slicer where he doesn't try well, to slice. Well, he had the action, right? He so. has two options. He's going to push anyways. The evade probably doesn't do all that much for him. Boba's too straight isn't getting him clear of that rock, so Boba is not getting on Asajj this round, so it was safe. Yeah. Boba's going to attempt to... Uh, maybe the two straight does clear the rock. If so, Boba's going to be range one. The three would. Yeah, but then he doesn't clear the stress. Isn't, isn't the three forward green on an X-Wing? No. Oh, poor X-Wings. No. <laughs> Seriously, when was the last time you flew an X-Wing? Uh, never. There you have the four straight. Uh, he did that for positional reasons. He can't get the cruise missile off. Yeah. Um, and that really I guess he's figuring him. with Lone Wolf, he doesn't necessarily need it. He's got a butt shot on... Also on surprised oh, why the he reason didn't... that Tim didn't do the three bank is because of the bomblets. Yes. Again, that's why Tim's 4 0 and I went 0 3 and commentated. Well, that's not the only reason. There's multiple <laughs> other reasons. That's one of many reasons. So, what's being decided here? I don't know. Um, I mean, there's nothing Boba can do at this point. Oh, he's got a glitter. So he's. Yeah. Oh, oh, he's going to double stress oh, himself. I, I don't know, Thomas. You I don't like it? That's a bad idea. There's so many cards on the team. <laughs> what are you guys doing? We get it. Thank you. Alyssa token makes sense. Tim's such for a me. goof. Yeah. Range two. That was gambly. Which one? Which the, 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 the glitter stim there. He could have taken a triple, a third stress from Ventress. Yeah. Uh, Boba 
Thomas is flying on the edge. I, I think he feels he's lost. And I so he's, he's trying to eke out some damage, get some half points here? Yeah. We... Also, he's in two arcs. I think this is the time you have to glitter when you have no actions. I don't. Tim cannot roll an evade die. That is so horrible. Yeah. He just took three damage. Yeah. And uh, just like that, Thomas uh, was able to pull half points. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> I think. If he just took three? No, no, not yet. No, he needs two more. Well, he's got to kill Boba now. Yeah. I mean, he'll, he'll win with half points in both of the girls versus a half point Boba, but... That's going to tank his MLB. It's going to be too tricky. He's got to kill Boba. He can't just half point him and run now. So I think they want to walk it back to check. They're checking for funsies on stream at a Nationals to see if a bomb lit would have hit. I told you they were goofs. These are wacky, these wacky Canadians. These wacky Canadians. And of course not goofs. Oh, see what happened, goofs. This is what happens when you try to get to this get out of here with this. Too much maple syrup for these, bre for these bre boys' <laughs> breakfast this morning. So, do, yes, Ventress did take three. Wasn't she down one shield before that attack round? Uh, I don't know. We'll double check. R5 has gone off to uh, get a damage update like for us. It math to me. Okay. So we've got two hits coming from Ketsu and Lone Wolf. Yep. To reroll, and he gets two evades. Nice. Okay. So range three. Well, you got to work on your dice rolling, Tim. Jeez, Tim. Spend the lock, Tim. Spend the lock. Spend it. Or focus. Spend it. Spend it. Do Spend it. it. Do it. Spend it. Do it. He's doing it. No. no. Well, yeah, through the force, yes. Yeah, yes. that's what I mean. Okay. No. Nerd. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, girl, oh dice better, Tim. God. All right, Thomas, roll dice. See, Thomas knows how to roll yes, dice. Yes, he does. Doesn't even need to use the lone wolf. Maximum disrespect. Okay, so, as we've established, the fire spray sucks at clearing stress, so it's going to do, what, a one bank? Yep, two straight. That's green, isn't it? Yep. Poor X-Wings. Hashtag poor X-Wings. Let's make that a thing. <laughs> Man. I just... I'm just horrified by those bad dice on Tim's part last turn. He did a two forward, so he can't use gyros. Thomas reminding him he's not, it's not a thing that he can Cheater do. Pants. You gotta get it where you can, man. It's not cheating if you don't get caught. I'm not even gonna say the intimate that I would make a joke about that. She's playing D and D. She doesn't know. All right. <laughs> so watch this back. So no, she won't watch Action Streams. No, not even with your uh, smooth voice on. Them? No, my voice for radio, as Tim likes to say it. My face for radio. Yes. Yeah. Um, it's actually right. not true. Tim uh, Samit's a really handsome dude. Burn out. Here's the money underneath the table. So three straight? Yeah. Yeah, he could have done a three bank there. No. no I didn't. thought, you know what, to be honest with you, I, I guess this makes 100% sense. Uh, he's going to be able to use gyros anyway, so there's no need for him to use an action. He might as well use the burnout to get it back, to get that max distance to save his Ventress. <laughs> so Thomas does, in fact, have half points on Ventress. Yep. That's what I thought. And he's one haul away from getting it on Ketsu as well. Yep. This will be a range three exchange. Unless, of course, Thomas just goes four straight again. I suppose. Takes a couple turns off. But He probably one bank to the ship right to get the rear arc. That'll put his fire spray near to the corner, and that, with double stress, that's Doomsville, man. Tenuous copper, yes, this is a 4-0 game. It's a two 4 Yep. It's also a rematch of last year's Nationals. Uh, Regionals. Champion. Regionals. Regionals, Nationals, same thing, who cares? Um... They're both great players who win lots of events. Yes. Uh, it's a rematch, uh, grudge match rematch. Uh, Thomas knocks him out. A an amicable grudge match rematch. Yes, yeah. A pleasant, as, as, as grudgy as Canadians can become. Yes. Gosh darn you, good sir. Darn you as well, to heck. Uh, this is actually table one. So, not only is this... Ah, top guys, table. Undefeated. Right, lone Wolf. Also, Thomas getting to first place by running through another regional champion earlier. Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. Hit, hit, crit. Yes. Uh, that's a good. That's a good time to have Whoa. a focus token. So Boba's gonna be able to get away. Tim's dice rolling has improved minutely. 
I still feel he's a lot to make up for for last round. Well, yeah. And then he's going to... Ten, lots of eyeballs. Ten, ten, ten. So we're going to see the hard three from Katsu to, put, to push Chase on Bulba, and Bulba's going to do a one bank to clear his stress and get back into the game. Maybe yep. drop a bomblet. Oh, Tim actually can't do the hard three. He's going to do a hard two and then have to rotate his arc. Well, he's still got the front arc. That's true. Save that rotation for some other time. Or maybe not even bother because it's not like he can move somebody and, and he's not able to ca capitalize on uh, Catch's ability anyways. He get a damn hit yeah. through with his Shadowcaster title. Like that round where he had them, where he had Boba pincered, that was great. Yeah. It was just bad dice. Absolutely. So what do you do if you're in Thomas' situation right now? Uh, keep on rolling hot fire. Um, you do the one bank. Well, Corvinius uh, one puts out a good point. Right now, Thomas is up on points. Well, uh, no, because yeah. uh, Ketsu is still above half. Oh, you're right. Yeah, one more damage into Ketsu puts Thomas above on points. One more damage into Boba puts, puts him ahead on points. Yeah. So uh, puts you, him I think back ahead on points. I think you peel out Ketsu. I'm not sure. You don't think so? I mean, you don't want Boba to come around to joust you. Because he's got cruise missiles. You don't want to give him the chance to come about face. You want to keep the pressure on him. Yeah. yeah. Massage is swinging her turret like she just don't mm -hmm. care, and I can't tell which way it's pointing now. Uh, towards the inside of the board. To ship right. Okay. Yep, yeah, he's decided to... Okay. you called it. Yeah. I mean, he's thinking about day two. These guys are both 4-0. Oh. One of them is going to go down to 4-1. and one. Still well within their chances and, and probability, let's be real, of yep. both making day, to making it tomorrow. Um, they're both going to try to preserve MLV to give themselves the best fighting chance to get into that top eight cut. And yep. you know what? I don't deny or begrudge either of them thinking like this. They're both champions, and that's how you should do it. You should think that way. You definitely well, want to try to get yourself. Yeah, I like this from Thomas getting back around that way yep. to bring that front arc. He's going to three-bank boost next turn, and someone's getting cruise missile. He's actually going to be able to cruise Missile Ketsu. No, this is, this is bad for Tim. Yeah. 16 minutes left in the round. Yeah. Too much time to run, says the chat. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, you're completely agreed. There's way too much time for him to run. The the engine upgrade and the thing like that. Um, it's going to have to come down to damage. He's got to get both arcs back onto Bulba and, and just burn him down. Punch through. Yeah. And it's tough with that lone wolf. Yeah. And an evade token. Yeah, and Boba actually, to Boba actually hasn't used his glitter stim yet, has he? Boba did. He did use it already. Oh, that's right. And that double, double stress. Yeah, thank you. And we disapproved. Yeah, I didn't. I always approve of using stim. <laughs> two. If you're taking two shots in a round, you got to. Well, that an action. So Tim is taking his time, setting it up. He's already used his burnout, so he can't do any surprise moves. Yeah, and she doesn't have engine. He's rotating arc forward. Okay. Ketsu, one bank. I like that. Yep. And he moved his arc forward, which makes sense. And here's the PS advantage. Yeah. Small move tells him if he wants to boost to set up for the fast move next round. Yeah. Now, in order to get the cruise missiles off, he does need to target lock. So Three bank target lock. Sure. But that's the thing. He cannot take an evade token. He's sitting on only lone wolf for defense. It's a good point. Still tough decisions for Thomas to make as well. Mm-hmm. However, if he can get himself into range one, he will have Lone Wolf and Boba reroll. So he can roll. He can reroll both his dice right. at all times. So he can do. A he might very well get a huge amount of damage into that Ketsu. I don't know. Ah, that's the reason for cruise missiles. It works really well with an aggro approach with Boba Fett. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. We've got that. We've got the numbers backwards. We're gonna switch those around real quick. Ketsu is number is the tall bug. That's why he pointed the arc forward as well. Yeah, so uh, you can Thanks, bank. Dogsny. Dogsny? Yes. So uh, Thomas can just program a three bank. Yeah. If they close, 
he boosts and gets into range one. Yes. If they don't close, he, he fires four locks dice and fires and four and dice fires target the, the, the cruise missile. Yeah. I completely agree. So Ventress is gonna do what's she gonna do? She's gonna do a three bank or a hard three. I think she should do three bank. Three turn would land Well, Tim rock. Tim turned her Tim turned her arc forward, which is a good call. Does the three put her on the rock? It's kissing it. Close. <laughs> three turn? Yeah. I don't know. I can't tell on the stream. Yeah, on the angled angled screen, sometimes it's a little bit harder to tell. I think it does. So three bank it. three bank is the smartest, safest choice, but we're both wrong. It's just a two. That's a good choice. Yep. Still gonna have shot if he does the three bank. Now, if Thomas does a three turn towards Asajj. Yeah. There's nothing to stop him from launching that missile. Nope. Tim's checking target, target logs. Log. He's gonna focus evade. Yep. What else can he do? He can do that. Oh, I'm not sure I understand the choice there. Neither do I. Oh, whichever way he goes, he she gets has arc. Still, I think I would have preferred an evade. I would have focused evaded. There was no way she, uh, Bobo was going to get out of I her mean, primary. Here we are talking. Oh, well, probably because he did a two bank. He doesn't want to be able. He's thinking one turn ahead, and he's probably one of making sure he's able to do the hard three and keep his arc, or the three straight and keep Dude, his arc. Dude, that's it. Again, 35, 40 plus games with a Shadowcaster. He knows it more than I do. Yeah. But you just predicted what. Anyway. <laughs> It's easy to predict when you're watching somebody yeah. do something. <laughs> it's a lot harder to figure it out on the table, I'll tell you what. It's mm -hmm. a lot more stressful to figure it out at that point. And again, well, hats off to these two players flying very uh, hats off to these two players flying a high high tense game. <laughs> There's a three bank. Yep. Pulls target, cruises. Now, no no bubble rerolls. Just Lone Wolf. And the boost won't get him reroll, so yes. Boost won't get him into range one. Target lock cruise. He doesn't want to go into range one because then he drops eva he drops uh, an evade die. And Ketsu's ability. Oh yeah. yeah. He gets double strike. He gets double of it. He Thomas actually does not want he a just range. Just evades. Okay, yeah. so he's gonna take no damage. And or try to take no damage. So he got a range three. I don't hate that call either. I don't. He's trying to half point Ketsu. Yep. He's going to have Lone Wolf. So. Why is he re rolling too? I don't well, know. He's got Dengar. Oh, he has Dengar. There you go. That explains a Dengar lot. Dengar and Lone Wolf. He re rolls all the dice, all the times. And uh, evades, takes a crit. He's half pointed Ketsu. Yeah. I can't see that. So can't bump. Stunned. Okay. Thankfully, Tim's boisterous voice is loud enough for us to hear over here. Calls out the crits for us. So Tim absolutely positively must roll damage. Just two from Ketsu. Oh, that's what he needed to see. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, so so he will. Yeah, and that's half points on Boba. You're right. That was a bit of a swing. I mean, that was like the tiniest little minutia of a swing. Yeah. One damage each. Yeah. But it was enough Half to... Half-pointed each of them. Yeah, exactly. It was enough to give them each like 30 more points. Oh, there it is. With the fire. Atta girl. She's so pretty. <laughs> That's exactly <laughs> it. Tim and... It's about Tim, time he's do some. Tim opting to use his uh, zero-point EPT for the weekend. And Thomas just saying, screw these dice. I'm going to throw them off the stream. <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> Okay, so okay. two damage. So he takes two more damage. Is the second one a crit? Nope. Oh, three. So it's a one-hole three, three total then? Because he would have evaded one of them. Uh, I think he hadn't actually drawn the one from Ketsu yet. Ah, okay. So the good thing is, if Tim is spicy, this is what he's going to do. He's going to one forward with that Ketsu. Won't bump. There's nothing to worry about blinded. And then he might... Has Ventress used her stim? Ventress doesn't so. have stim because he always has slicers, Tim. This is why you take stim. Because then he could have just one banked and stimmed. That's what I would have done. Yeah, but then he'd have to be Timbo stim. That's, what's wrong with that? He can change his name to Timbo stim. He is cool. Fair. Hey, Danny. Hi, wife. Are you doing stuff? We're having yep. fun, yes. Are you talking right now? 
Yeah, I'm yeah, talking smack about hot you. Mics. Hot, 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 they are hot, hot mics. mics. No, you're on the other <laughs> side of the table. Here. No, I'm okay, sweetheart. Bye. I think you're right. Short, small moves from the girls. Bubba goes one way, he eats it from the other one. I think so. But then he's got to rel rely on Luck the Irish, which has not been with him or with, is never in a comfortable place. Yeah, because uh, can't you, oh, sorry, token. Ventress can't st uh, clear stress. Not without going fast. Oh, right, right, She right, has to right, three right, bank right. if she wants to clear stress or hard three, at which point he can turn in with his Boba with a hard three as well. They seem to be just rolling dice. They're just having fun, they're communicating, and they're thinking. Well, Thomas seems locked in. It's Tim who's figuring out what he wants to do. Okay. Can Boba get out with his one health? I mean, My assumption is Thomas is going to do a hard three. He's not even going to rotate a cannon? He can use it as an action. Uh, Blossom says Tim's Lancer's play is inspired. Yeah. It's really amazing. Many, many multiple top eight, top 16 finishes with this list it proves you correct. Mm -hmm. He's getting the tokens. Mm -hmm. Rotate and push. So. I mean, this is his MO with this list is that close the noose oh. kind of a gap. So if, if he Boba blocks him. If Ketsu, he loses, he drops an evade die. Yep. Which is what he's going for. So Boba so. has to do a one straight or a one bank. Yep. One or the other. And he went four straight, and he blocks. Yeah, it looks like it. Thomas is saying it doesn't matter. Oh, Tim because his well, uh, Tim Tim had the action, and then uh, yeah, no, Boba he may bumps. Have said it out loud. Yeah. Uh, so that's going to be a bump. That's going to be Ketch's ability. It's going to be one of a die in range four. <laughs> range four dice from Ventress. Even if it's re-rolled. Who has a focus? I mean, we shouldn't speak too soon. Cause... No, because he's going to have two re-rolls. No, but this was... He only has one green One die, die you're right. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, and so... Well, there we go. Well, let's, let's wait and see. Tim could roll hideously bad again. Uh, no, that's Is it focus game. for two hits? Three hits. You put that down, but I think... Oh, that is game, by the way, yeah. Yeah. Because he only needed that's two. That's the game. There wow. we go. Well, that was an excellent round and an excellent game from two...